life, love, relationships. Wait, we're going to give away all our secrets? Welcome to The Man Perspective with K-Man and the Dawn. All right. Welcome to The Man Perspective. And today's topic is how should you love a woman? Hmm. It's a good question. I would say with every fiber of your being. Good answer. I mean, if you're going to go in, go in like 100%, right? Especially if you loved a person. Why wouldn't you? But by that meaning, is there anything you do specifically to love that woman? Give me some specifics. Well, make communication the number one priority. Okay. Cherish that person. Cherish the time you have spent with that person and will spend with that person. Yeah, it's two. Be spontaneous. Be, it kind of falls back to what I said on a previous episode. Be open-minded. Be willing to try new things. It's four. Try new things. That's four. Okay. And um, just, I don't know, as a couple, step outside your comfort zone. Five. Like experience some life together. Just anything life throws at you, whether it be good times, hard times, traveling, like see the world, invest in that person. And, you know, vice versa, of course. You've heard the podcast for years. Get ready, because the newest installment of The Man Perspective has gone live. Check us out directly at our very own website, themanperspective.com, for the latest and greatest of The Man Perspective. Check out themanperspective.com, coming to you live each and every week, daily. The Man Perspective. Dot com with K-Man and the Don. I always say do something different. <clears throat> of course, yeah. If you want to love a woman, love her differently than any other guy has loved her before. Absolutely. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because you, know you got to do something different to not only gain her interest, but you got to do something different to love her. Yeah. And it has to be different from whatever relationship she's in see the way i look at it is it's it's a circle okay Mm -hmm. any woman you meet now has just come out of a relationship yeah you follow what i'm saying they went through something (laughs) they came out of a relationship (laughs) and now you're going to deal with her yeah now depending upon Mm -hmm. what kind of relationship she came out of right Mm -hmm. it's going to determine how you're going to deal with her yeah so now guess what you got to do something different for example if this woman came out of an abusive relationship, say a physical relationship, a verbal relationship, a mental harassment or whatever type relationship. Now she's going to deal with you. Yeah. You got to do something different. Absolutely. Okay. So in order to love her now, you got to do something totally different than what she did before you or the guy did before you. Because she just got out of a relationship. So like I said, every time you talk to a woman or you meet a new woman, she just came out of a relationship. Absolutely. I I think what it comes down to, and it may take some people thinking about this a little bit more deeply than the way I'm going to say it to really grasp it. But I think a good way to sum it up, at least to me, is for the dude, be the guy that she's never had. For the female, be the girl that he's never had. If you both can do that, you're golden. Best way to do it. Best way. But you got to do something different. Yeah, absolutely. Because anytime you meet meet somebody, keep in mind, they just came out of a relationship. Yep. Chances are it's probably a bad one. Yep. Chances are she went through some things. Yep. Chances are, you know, she's mentally scarred or if not physically scarred. Yep. However you want to look at it, depending upon, you know, the kind of guy that she had to deal with. Especially the mental part. Mm-hmm. Because it takes a toll on her. Absolutely. Now here you come talking to her. Yeah. Okay. You got to do something different. That's right. And and to even expand on that, you should do something different. Correct. Because what, no do they, what do they say? The definition of insanity is doing the same crap over and over, but expecting a different result. Right. So be the different. You'll right. be the different result. Right. Because you got to do something different. Yeah, absolutely. That's what it really comes down to. You have no choice but to do something different Without in the relationship. 
Because whatever that guy did to her, and trust me, he did something to her. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to deal with it. Some way, somehow, you're going to have to deal with it. But the question is, how are you going to have to deal with it to love her? Absolutely. You understand? If you want to love that woman, you got to do something different. Yeah. Because that dude before her, before you, I should say, took a toll on her. Yeah. He mind after her somehow. He got her, her brains all messed up. Yeah. You know? If not physically, mentally. Very and true. And now you got to deal with it. Yeah. And so you have no choice but to do something different just to make sure that, you know, she's good. Yeah. Because she's never going to be the same. No. You follow what I'm saying? That's the key, too. She's never going to be the same. Hey, you know what women need? The man perspective. With K-Man and the Don. You know what? Why not do something different, right? Show her that all guys aren't the same. Right. Because all it takes is one guy to mess it up. It does. It definitely does. You know, and I really, really stress that more than anything. All it takes is one guy to mess this woman's mind up. And guess what? You know how it is, right? What did she say? Oh, all men are like that. Exactly. Because this guy dogged you out or this guy messed you up mentally. Now we all like that. We all dogs. We all, you know, because this one guy cheated on you. We all like that. No, yeah. we're not all like that. That's just that fool. That's that one dude you dealing with is like that. Yeah. But we all not like that. Don't no. put us all together as though we're part of him. No, we're not a part of him. I don't know him. Just, bro, I don't know him. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. So you say, oh, all men are dogs. No. Get that out your mind. All men are not dogs. Some are, but not some all. Some are, but not all. And there are some that are dogs, and there are some that are not. It's a 50-50 deal. Man. But don't put us all in that same boat because this one guy messed you up, and now because he messed you up, oh, all these guys, are, all these guys are bad, or guys are bad in general, or men in general are this, men in general are that. No, don't put us in that same. I don't like. I said I don't know this guy. I don't want to stand next to this guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Keep me away from this guy. I don't want to be. I don't blame you for leaving him. You He's know what I'm saying? Friend. I don't know this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be in the same room as this guy. Get him out of here. You and know what I'm saying? You know him. what? You know yeah, what? To, dude. <laughs> to expand a little bit on that. If a person has been dating a series of people and they have developed that all guys are the same mentality, maybe, just maybe, you need to look for someone that doesn't fit into the same category in which you've been dating. Because maybe that type is not the right type for you. And then a lot of women don't understand that. Like they, oh, I like the bad boy guy. I like that guy because he cute or whatever. But it's that same type of mentality, that same type of personality, that same type of dude that you keep going after and he keeps doing the same damn thing to you. Mm -hmm. And now because he's been doing it to you and other guys like him are doing it to you, all of us are bad. You see yep. how that works? No, we all not bad. Don't put us in that. Don't put me. I don't want to stand next to this clown. You know what I'm saying? Get him Man. out of here. <laughs> Man. You know, that's how I look at it. Dude, get him out of here. He's not down with me. I don't nope. know him. Mm -mm. Okay? I'm separate from him. That's right. He's not part of the man perspective family. There you go. He's not even on my level. Nope. You know? And because he screwed you up, that loses my chance with you because now... You think we all in the same boat with him. No, we not. We ready to throw him overboard. That's you right. No <laughs> life jacket. No right. life jacket. Jacket or nothing. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to move without this cat. You know? <laughs> Get that. Throw his behind overboard. Let's keep yeah. it moving. We That's got right. dead weight among us. You know what I'm saying? You know how I go. You know how I say? <laughs> we draw straws. You know how I say? Uh-oh, the boat's kind of heavy. Yep. One of us got to get out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some One of us got to get off this boat. No, we ain't going to draw straws. We picking you, pal. You yep. getting the hell out of here. We tossing you the hell out. How about that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we ain't even picking straws to throw you out. We, we just tossing you out because we see where the dead weight is. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that's what happens. You see where the dead weight is. There. You know, so yeah, how should you love a woman? Love her slowly, love her with the best you can, and love her differently than the man before you. Absolutely. 
That's how you do it on the man perspective. Now you heard our perspective. It's time to hear yours. Get at us at the man perspective at gmail.com or use the hashtag the man perspective.